hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous video uh, we just discussed some basic introductory concepts related to neural networks starting from uh, the definition the basic how a neural network looks like and uh, the various uh, properties and features of neural network and finally the scope okay the application of neural network so in this video we are going to uh, discuss about uh, the artificial neural network and how it is uh, related to the biological neural network which is the human brain so we'll just discuss some basic concepts related to that so we know that neural networks are uh, processing systems which is uh, used to process data and information and uh, this neural network okay the design of neural networks is inspired by the structure and functioning of the human brain okay so the word itself uh, neurons okay the neurons which is the main functional and structural unit of human brain it is found in this neural network this neural part so basically what we are trying to do with the artificial neural network is to replicate the functions of the human brain we are trying to create an artificial human brain this is where artificial intelligence comes into play a neural network is an important component an important part of it so we know that the human brain it consists of a large number of neurons so approximately it has 10 to the power 11 neurons neuron cells which are connected to each other they are interconnected so a biological neuron it looks something like this a neuron cell now it has various uh, structural parts and we are not going to discuss biology here but still we should discuss these things because then we can interrelate how the biological neuron is related to the artificial neuron okay because all of these structural and functional units have are 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 present in the artificial neuron with just the characteristics the features that we have in the artificial neuron is inspired by these uh, functional units so we should have a good understanding about each of the functional units just basic things so the main parts of the biological neuron here as we can see we have the soma or cell body then we have the axon the synapse and the dendrites so the dendrites okay these are these branches okay the tree like structures that uh, are present on the cell body and on the axon so the dendrites they are connected to the cell body and are used for carrying the signal or information okay uh, these are basically the action potentials of the human brain we have discussed these things in the bio the biomedical instrumentation part in the eeg signal where uh, the neurons they fire action potential uh, when they are excited by an external stimulus but that is a different thing you can check out that video too so the dendrites they carry the action potential of the human the human brain which is the electroencephalogram so the next one is the axon which is a single long connection which uh, is found on the cell body or soma which also carries the signal information or the uh, eeg potential then we have as the synapse okay now the so the soma or cell body it is the main structural unit of the neuron which carries the nucleus this portion and the synapse okay these are these uh, structures which are present on the dendrites and also on the axon now this synapse is an important part because the interconnected neurons okay this this neuron is connected to the other neuron with the help of these synaptic connections okay this synapse 
and the exchange of signals the exchange of action potential in case of biological neuron takes place through these synaptic connection and all of these things are, uh, are all of these things the functional and structural uh, things they are studied and are tried to replicate in the artificial neural network so this is the biological neural network the artificial neuron it looks something like this in the form of a node this is an artificial neural network and the artificial neuron and a neural network an artificial neural network it looks something like this a group of these nodes artificial neurons which are interconnected now this is a simple neural network the actual neural networks are much more complicated and complex in terms of their structure their architecture and also their functioning so this artificial neural network it is the node or the neuron to which the input signals are applied here the inputs to this neuron are x1 x2 and x3 these are the connecting links okay which connect this neuron to the other neurons and these arrowheads w1 w2 w3 are the weights associated with each connection each connecting link which alter or change the input signal okay and this x net is the net input to the this whole neuron or node artificial node and the net input is given by the product of the individual inputs and the weight associated with that connecting link here the net input to this node or neuron is given by x1 w1 x1 multiplied with uh, multiplied with the weight associated with that link x2 w2 x3 w3 so the signals are multiplied with their respective weights okay weight associated with the links in which the signal travels and uh, then we have is the fx net okay which is the activation function we will discuss about all of these things in detail right now we just understand the activation function it uh, determines the output of this node so various types of functions are used it can be a step function it can be a exponential function it can be a sigmoidal function there are a lot of functions which determine the input output relationship how the input is manipulated to generate the output it is determined by the activation function now there are various mathematical functions which are utilized to get the activation function then we have is the output which can be uh, of branch type which can be given to various other nodes so this is an artificial neuron now how this artificial neuron this artificial neuron is related to this biological neuron okay we'll draw that correlation so the main parts of this uh, artificial neural network as i said this is the input okay then we have is the weight associated with each input that is w1 w2 w3 and the inputs are x1 x2 x3 then we have is the activation function of the neuron which is fx net this and then we have is the output now how this artificial neuron is related to the biological neuron this is the correlation the cell or the neuron cell of the biological neuron this whole neuron cell this is the node okay the artificial neuron or node in the artificial neural network the dendrites and synapse of the biological neuron the synapse and these dendrites uh, it is same okay the dendrites and synapse are the same as the weights here the weight associated with each link okay so the dendrites and synapse are the same as weights the soma or the cell body in the biological neural network which carries the nucleus which accommodates the nucleus it is the same as the net input x net here 
x net the net input is the same as the soma or the cell body and then the axon which is the single long connection which is made up of uh, nerve fiber here the axon this long connection it is the same as the output y okay so this is how we can correlate a biological neuron with an artificial neuron the cell or the uh, the whole cell it is the same as the neuron or node the dendrites and the synapse are the same as the weights in the artificial neuron the soma or the cell body which carries the nucleus is the same as the net input and the axon is the same as the output y okay so this is how we can correlate a biological neural uh, neuron with artificial neuron okay so this is uh, all about a correlation between the biological neuron and the artificial neuron in the next videos we'll discuss about the other things such as the inputs weights activation function and other associated things so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much